Aaliyah, did you do you agree with Scott that you guys just weren't good at all offensively in the first quarter and things had to change? Yeah, uh, I think we were just rushed. We were a little out of sorts. Um, I take a lot of responsibility for that. That's something on me is to kind of calm our team down, get us in the right offense and just playing like ourselves. So I think I, I came out a little rushed. Um, like you said, credit to Oregon. They, they were intense. They threw a lot of energy at us in the first quarter. So yeah, I think we were just a little out of sorts, um, just kind of rushed. We just didn't execute as well as we can. What do you, what do you think changed it? I mean, we just settled down. Uh, we got back to basketball. Like we know how to play. Um, we executed really well. Um, but yeah, I just think overall, we just completely settled down. Aaliyah, what's the confidence level that each one of your teammates has in each one of your teammates? Because uh, you guys had six players in double figures Sunday against Oregon. You had four, but two more with eight. You saw Yelena come in and give great minutes. Just what's that confidence level that you guys each have with each other right now? Yeah, uh, we're all confident in each other. We know uh, just the work that everyone's put in and the extra work outside of practice. So that builds confidence. We're confident people are going to make the right decision, hit their shots. So I would say our confidence in each other is through the roof, honestly. Aaliyah, what goes through your mind when, you know, it was about 80 days ago, Oregon pretty much ran you guys off the floor. And, and now, I mean, you beat them back-to-back -back games and you, I mean, you control both these games. What, what goes through your mind about the progression of this team? Yeah, like uh, Coach Rook said, we just had to play some games, um, get in a rhythm, uh, just some consistency. So when that Oregon game, that first Oregon game happened, was I worried? Not really, just because it was our third game into the season or third game into the Pac-12. Um, and I knew what this team and this group was capable. Um, but no, just the progression that this team has made, we really bought into the program, bought into our coaching staff um, and just buckled down and worked really hard. Couple couple weeks ago, could you have imagined, you know, you guys coming off the pauses and everything that you guys would be in the semifinals, you know, of the Pac-12 tournament and playing as well as you guys are playing right now? Uh, I mean, I think we had the ability to do it. Uh, was there some doubt a few weeks ago? Definitely, just because we didn't have consistency, we weren't playing as smoothly as we knew we could. Uh, our on the defensive end, we weren't there at all. Um, the coaches were kind of dragging us on the defensive end, especially. Um, so I think there was a little, I don't know, um, you could say doubt, uh, but with this work ethic and this team, and then we really bought in on the defensive end. Um, uh, once we started playing, like we knew we could, especially on that end of the floor, I'm not surprised at all. Aaliyah, Aaliyah you're what obviously you most, the most experienced person on this roster. Do you forget that you're playing alongside 18, 19 year olds, that these are first comers, their first time around in March? Yeah, I mean, those girls are starting to play like veterans, uh, just with their their swagger, their confidence, just the way they carry themselves. Uh, I forget that they are first year, that this is their first Pac-12 tournament because they are playing so well um, and just their IQ of the game and how well they know, know basketball. And then they're just fearless. I think that's kind of, one word to describe this team is just the, it's just fearless. Um, you see Sasha going to the basket. You've seen Savannah do the same thing. Talia, Ellie Mack has played huge for us. And then Yelena is just becoming who she is for us. Um, so yeah, I, I do forget often that they, that there's a lot of first year players on this team. Oh yeah. On that note with players being fearless, what do you think of when Talia got that and one, got pretty emotional. Um, you don't see that very often from a freshman. Yeah, no, that was tough. Uh, Talia is awesome. And so to see that just enthusiasm, um, I mean, it was an intense, it was an intense moment in a big game. So did I expect it? Of course, because that's who Talia is. She's extremely competitive. Uh, our whole team is, like I said, we play with a swagger. We have this fun, just competitive swagger about us. So to see my teammates get hyped up like that, I love it. It makes me just even more hyped for them. Leah, how much are you enjoying 
going through this ride right now? How much fun are you having out there? It's a blast. Uh, I don't remember how much, or remember the last time I had this much fun playing basketball with a group of people. Um, I love this team. I love the coaching staff and just how well we all mesh together. It's so much fun. These are like my best friends that I get to hang out with every day and go to war with. So it's, it's honestly a 